Well, I think the goal and objective of today's scrimmage was, you know, to get the I get us an evaluation of a lot of guys in terms of where they are. Um, and we'll evaluate that. That's what I told the players before the scrimmage. You know, nobody should have any anxiety. Everybody should go out there and compete, play hard, play with toughness, give effort, finish plays, um, try to play with discipline. But um, we're trying to evaluate each and every player as to where you are now and then know exactly what we got to do to try to help you improve and get better. So that should be the mindset of the players. Uh, it also should be the mindset of the coaches in terms of, you know, what you know, we need to do uh, as a staff uh, and, and, and each player individually know what he needs to do so that we have a chance to improve and get more and more players to be able to play winning football. Um, I was, for a first scrimmage, um, I was sort of pleased with the intensity out there. Um, you know, there's a lot of good hitting um, and, you know, there was a lot of good things to teach from. Uh, we got a lot of young guys playing a lot of positions. Uh, so I'm sure this first experience out there uh, is going to help them be able to sort of do exactly what I said, you know, find out where they are, what they have to do, what they need to learn, and how they can go out there and play with more confidence because they have a better understanding of what to do, how to do it, why it's important to do it that way. So uh, for a first scrimmage, we're pretty pleased with it. You know, I thought Bryce, you know, did a pretty good job of managing the game and, um, was accurate with the ball and did a nice job, made made a few explosive plays, but uh, I thought really did a good job of managing, you know, the, the whole situation on offense when he was in there. Uh, I think we got a lot of improvement to do, you know, especially with the twos on offense. We got a lot of young guys playing in the offensive line uh, with the meal out and, um, you know, Evan Neal is the only starter coming back. Uh, so, but, you, you know, I, I see a lot of, good um, potential uh, that we need to work on and improve. And, you know, we put a lot of stuff in probably for, you know, the first four or five days, and that's a lot for a young player to digest. So when we eliminate the mental errors, I think we'll see a lot more consistent execution out there on both sides of the ball. You know, the one defense, you know, played fairly well, but, you know, it's hard to tell, you know, how much you're challenged, um, you know, sometimes when you have a scrimmage. so. You know, I'm sure we have a lot of things we can improve on. You know, it's certainly our goal uh, to get better on third down, to play better in the red zone. You know, some of those things we still need to make improvement on defensively. Okay, with, with that, we will start with, excuse me, Michael Casagrande first. Michael, go ahead. You, you, you talked about the quarterbacks. What about the receivers who stood out with uh, the first group of uh, receivers today? Well, I... You know, I, I think we got a lot of guys that are new guys at those positions uh, without, you know, John Mechie playing out there. You know, it's uh, you got really other than Slade, uh, not a whole lot of experience. So um, I saw good things from everybody and I, I, I saw some things that we need definitely to improve on. But uh, for me to single out somebody that I thought was outstanding today, um, I'm not really ready to do that. Go to Cecil. Cecil. Coach, um, anytime you're replacing a quarterback, no matter who it is, and, and have a new quarterback coming in, are there are there things, especially in a first scrimmage or an early scrimmage, that you as a coach look for? Not so much the the plays or the throws, but in terms of leadership, huddle presence, so forth. Are are you watching for those things? Yeah, I don't think there's any question about the fact that you know there's there's you know, a technical aspect to playing your position, to being accurate with the ball, um, throwing it to the right guy, uh, throwing it on time. You know, all those things are important. Uh, but but your presence uh, out there, uh, especially at the quarterback position, is certainly something that can affect the people around you. And quarterbacks are really difficult position to play if the people around you don't play very well. Uh, so I think it is really, really important that you know, we develop those things. Now, you know, everybody's got a different personality, so I'm not sure I can sit down and tell a guy exactly how to do that. Um, but a guy needs to know that's really, really important for him to develop that uh, in this spring as, it as well as every other technical aspect of his position. We'll go to Charlie Potter. Hey, Coach, you uh, talked about the offensive line and the injuries there. So just what are you looking for from that group and what do you see from them today? 
Well, I think we've got a long way to go. Uh, we've got a lot of young guys. I think they've got a lot of ability. Uh, I think they're head swimming probably a little bit right now with uh, all the different things that they have to learn on offense. But you're also, you know, seeing probably a lot more things than you're used to seeing uh, out of the defense. So, um, you know, that creates a lot of multiples, you know, for young guys. So uh, we just want to get those guys to where they have confidence in what the, what, what they uh, need to do to be able to have to be able to go out there and execute and do their job on a consistent basis. And um, we're not there yet. Uh, and we're making progress. And I think that every one of those guys will see what they need to improve on. And we'll go to work on it um, on Monday. Go to Aaron Suttles. What, what does Christian Harris mean to this year's defense? And in what areas of improvement, if any, do you expect to see from him this year? Well, he's got a lot of experience, no doubt. Uh, and I think we have a lot more experienced players on defense, which is certainly helpful. Um, but I, I think as a signal caller on defense, some of the very things that I talked about um, for the quarterback, um, when you are pretty much the quarterback, at least of the front seven, and to some degree to all 11 guys in some cases, you know, you, you need to have a presence as well. Call it what you will. Uh, and I think, you know, he's starting to gain confidence in being able to do that. I think that's going to be important for us uh, to grow. But having more experience and having more guys that, you know, know how to do it, know what to do, play the way you want them to play, um, you have less guys that need to be left. So I also think that's positive. Okay, we got time for a couple more. We'll start with Tony. Do you have an early assessment of uh, Jaquincy McKinstry? And then also just how has the secondary as a whole looked uh, today? Uh, I didn't really hear the question. Uh, Kool-Aid? Early assessment of Kool-Aid, and then how the secondary Yeah, Kool-Aid's, you know, making progress. Uh, I think, you know, he's shown um, that he has some ability to contribute to the team. Uh, I think that, you know, he has to play um, with more consistency at his position. He needs to know what to do all the time. He's like all the other young players out there. I think these guys find out that this is not going to be as easy as they thought it was. Uh, and But I think he's shown a lot of maturity. Uh, he sh and he, you know, has played with toughness. And, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, not satisfied with where he is, but I'm certainly pleased with the progress he's making. Uh, I think, you know, the secondary, uh, the guys that have experience and have played, uh, I think they're, you know, playing pretty well. Um, but we need to find more guys in the secondary that can play winning football. Okay, and we'll finish up with Marty Smith. Hey, Coach, happy Easter. Um, happy Easter to you. I'm doing a piece for college game day for the Final Four about Jalen Suggs, Gonzaga's point guard. And he was Mr. Football in Minnesota, a really good high school football player. And I, I know he took a visit down there. I wonder if you remember him as a high school player, and if you do, what your impressions were of him, if you do recall. Well, I, I vaguely do recall uh, him as a player, uh, and he was a really good player. Uh, he's a really good basketball player, you know, too. Uh, so I can't argue with anybody about the choice that he made in terms of, you know, what, what he's doing with his future and how he's trying to, you know, build a career um, in athletics at least. Um, so uh, he was a fine young man. He was a good leader. He was a very talented player. And, you know, I enjoy watching him play. He always liked playing guys you think you know a little bit. So um, I really enjoy watching them play, and those guys have a good team, no doubt. All right, Coach, thank you for your time. All right, hey, thank you all, and I do wish everybody a happy holiday, you know, this weekend. And, um, you know, I hope everybody has an enjoyable time with the holiday this weekend. Thanks so much. Thanks, guys. Happy Easter.